This video provides a quick tour of the capabilities of the IQGO inspection and survey application. The IQGO software transforms gas utility inspection and survey capabilities by increasing field inspection team productivity and eliminating regulatory penalties and fines. It also leverages your inspection data to increase network reliability and prolong the useful life of assets. Combined with the IQGO platform, the solution provides a single application to combat digital fatigue and improve the efficiency of day-to-day -day and emergency work. The inspection and survey application is split into three parts. This includes workflow management, crew management, and a reporting dashboard. In the first instance, you'll take a look at the workflow management application, which integrates with any GIS work management or maintenance management system to leverage your investment in existing technology. IQGO can also be accessed within an existing EAM system. On this screen, you see surveys overlaid on top of a Google map. The color of the survey is a thematic representation showing the current survey status. You also have a one-box search field in the top left-hand corner of the user interface. You can select any of the surveys that you want and drill down to see detailed survey orders. Next, you select one of the surveys and look at the associated survey items. You can see all the items that were surveyed or not surveyed. You can also access these from the one box search using a series of queries. In this case, you're searching for survey orders that are currently unassigned. Here you can see all the survey orders and the status of each survey. The next step is to create a new survey. There are several defined survey types and the survey areas are available based on the criteria for different survey types. These represent your template for creating a new survey order. Selecting the Create Survey button provides a simple form that you can insert data and view the attributes completed based on the actual survey process. Here is where you can set an end date and recurrence values if these are needed for your survey, and you can also set an end date for the recurrence value. You can add attribute values to your survey. For example, you can filter on just the cast iron mains. You'll see here as well that the inspection and survey application reads enumerated values that come from the IQGO platform to pre-populate data. Once you've given your survey a name and a type, click OK. You can now start to generate the survey, in this case, based on a polygon area, although it can be based on a variety of other criteria. Behind the scenes, the survey is creating hundreds of survey points that enable you to track progress. Once the survey has been created, you can see it on the map, and it appears on the right-hand interface, ready to assign to a crew. Here you assign it to crew number four. The next step is to go into the survey application. This application is designed to work online or offline. You can now select a crew, and it displays all the orders that are assigned to crew number four. You select an order, and it enables you to enter high-level form data that's important to this survey. This immediately takes you to the relevant area on the map, which can also be combined with your GPS location. Field personnel and contractors can run the IQGO application on any iOS, Android, or Windows device, and they can continue to be productive when offline. Crews also have access to key network information and attributes, such as install date, as well as the full network model. You kick off this process by picking a start point for the beginning of the survey. Here you can select a surveyable item for the survey start. You can also get driving directions and drill down directly into the surveyable items in the area. This includes the detailed information about the item where you're beginning the survey. Designed for mobility, the online and offline app increases the speed and data quality of inspections. This also includes the smart pre-population of forms, which you'll see as you go through the inspection process. It makes full use of the capabilities of your mobile device to simplify the user experience. This includes GPS, camera, scanning barcodes, and other functions. 
Next, you're going to survey the main in the field. This is represented by drawing a simulation path showing where you're going to walk. Once the path is drawn, you can run the simulation, which shows the user walking up and down the street. Clicking on the simulation button effectively simulates the survey taking place. You can see this as the blue icon moves down the street. The first thing you'll notice is that the orientation of the screen keeps up with the simulation, including the map rotation. You get a visual representation of what actions have been performed, and you can see some breadcrumbs being laid, which can also be viewed by Office users. You'll see this in more detail in a couple minutes. As you're out surveying, you may find that there are areas of the network that you can't access for some reason, and often referred to as can't get in. In this case, you can zoom in and take a look at some of the data that might be outside the range of your walking survey. In this example, you have the option to do a manual survey. With a manual survey, you can select objects and track all the metadata associated with the reasons why you weren't able to survey them. Here you can draw another small polygon, which indicates the extent of the area that you weren't able to survey. These areas are also shown on the left-hand side of the user interface. Here you can select configurable form values that provide reasons why you weren't able to access this particular area. You can also mark this with a simpler object, such as a can't get in, where you're tracking additional information. You can do things like type in the address if you want to override the automated addresses. Or you can have a point placed on the map that will populate the form automatically based on the reverse geocode address. All of these objects, such as can't get in, are fully tracked. You also have the object insert a leak. This provides a different configurable form that you can change. These forms are designed to be used on a tablet with very simple pick lists that enable you to quickly collect data. You can have additional groups in extra tabs across the top of the window. Here you can include mandatory fields that you want to make sure all field users populate, and these can be displayed across the different groups and tabs on the form. You have some mandatory information that you forgot to enter so the system will stop you from entering a leak until you complete the required mandatory fields. Other users will be able to see this layer, and you can always turn on the layer to see where the leak was found. It's highlighted in red. Users in the office will also be able to see the identified leaks. Field crews can see their status and review the last and the nearest survey items in order to continue the survey while the process is being summarized on the Order Status tab. This lets you move on to your next survey order by managing all your orders with the button along the top of the user interface. Now you can look at some other scenarios while you're in the field. You can help the GIS and other data teams improve data quality by capturing accurate information in the field that is missing or wrong, such as a meter location that is on the wrong side of a nearby house. This can be done in the same app or a specialized app still within the IQGeo platform, accessing all the same data in forms and layers that you had available during the inspection and survey. In this case, you're going to perform a data correction that captures the accurate location of a meter. First, you mark this as a data correction using similar forms that you used with leaks and can't get in. Again, this is fully configurable. You can then use drag and drop or grip functions to move things around that will accurately snap to existing facilities. Here you're identifying the correct location of the service connection, as well as a data correction for the meter itself. You can insert any updated information, access barcodes, or take photos to collect accurate information in the area. You can also mark some of the incorrect data so that the GIS users know that these are the pipes you're correcting.
This all gets included in a capture package that is sent back to the office for either automated or manual approval, depending upon your designated workflow. While you're doing your work, you also have access to a lot of situational awareness data because this application is based on the powerful IQGO platform. It's providing you with situational awareness by seeing the location of other crews and sites that may be experiencing third-party damage. For example, if you see someone digging in their yard, you can access the 811 ticket information. You can also review available emergency information. If at any point during your working day, you're notified of an emergency order, you can access the full platform to see the network model to determine which valves need to be shut off during the emergency. If taking action on this emergency is required, you can leave your survey equipment in the truck and quickly transfer the IQGO session to your phone with a QR code. Back in the office, you're receiving real-time updates whenever the field user is connected to the network. Managers can now review the completion and progress of patrols and surveys. Zooming in on a particular survey shows the area that was surveyed, and you can see the breadcrumbs that are associated with the survey route. You can click on a link to see all the surveyed items, and these are, of course, linked to the status updates associated with the progress of this survey. Using the same techniques from the field survey, you can find the survey areas for a given object and zoom in to each one of these areas. You can also use the one-box search to examine the breadcrumbs that were laid down while you performed the survey work, in addition to a range of other information that is tracked based on options and configuration. You can now switch over to your desktop dashboard application. Going back to the IQGO homepage, you select a dashboard application that provides a series of canned reports that you can use to access the information you need to do your job. This makes it much easier to generate the reports you need to demonstrate compliance with regulations including GPS locations and breadcrumb trails for further validation. You can quickly see the survey area completion status displayed in blue, green, and red highlights. Blue for manual, green for surveys completed, and red for outstanding items. You view this information in reports at the bottom of the window. These include a compliance report, an activity report, progress report, and leak report. These are the standard reports that are already defined, but they can be easily configured for your specific requirements. You can also perform filtering and other activities inside each report, as well as dumping the reports out to a Microsoft Excel file or other formats that are more easily consumed and shared. All these reports will be configured slightly differently on a client-by-client -client basis in order to meet your specific business and regulatory requirements. Here's the report on the leak you entered. And you can also see the report associated with the can't get in object that you placed earlier. The IQGO software transforms gas utility inspection and survey capabilities by increasing field inspection team productivity and eliminating regulatory penalties and fines. It leverages your existing inspection data to increase network reliability and prolong the useful life of your assets. Learn more about the IQGO software by visiting our website at iqgo.com.